Hi there! In this video we are going to look at uh, another feature of H5P which is branching scenario. The feature allows learners to engage in decision-making processes and experience the consequence of their own choice. It is useful for various educational and training purposes since it promotes critical thinking, problem solving, decision making and uh, of course active learning. Uh, if to look at it from the perspective of Bloom's taxonomy, we can say that it covers almost all levels. Uh, however, I think it is particularly beneficial for the last three ones, analysis, uh, evaluation and the creation. For example, in a business scenario, learners uh, may need to analyze market trends and the customer behavior to make strategic decisions on uh, product development or marketing strategies. For evaluation levels, learners can be encouraged to make a judgment and evaluate the merits of uh, different options. For example, in the medical training scenario, learners might be presented with a patient case and uh, asked to choose the most appropriate uh, treatment plan uh, based on the available information and uh, effectively evaluating the potential outcomes of the option. Finally, the branching scenario can offer learners opportunities to synthesize the information and to create new solutions or products. For example, in a creative uh, writing scenario, learners might be prompted to craft a unique story by making choices that shape the plot characters and the settings throughout the scenario. So in this video, I want to make a scenario that aims to encourage learners to evaluate uh, different options critically and uh, make informed decision in designing an online course. Uh, I want my learners to demonstrate the ability to evaluate the best approaches for achieving these outcomes and for this purpose I also ask them to justify their choices. Uh, so by the end of the scenario I want my students to have the draft of the online course design. Let's get started. So on my screen you can see my visualization. There won't be right or wrong responses because based on the learner's needs the requirements may vary. However, after every response I will provide feedback so they can make their own conclusion based on the feedback. In this scenario I'll have uh, five decisions to make in order for learners to be able to make the first draft of their design. Also this time I'm accessing H5P through their official website h5p.org. You can also register on the website to have uh, your activities saved in one space. I click login. So next here I click on try out H5P and we can sort it out and then I choose branching scenario. Uh, also, to make this tutorial faster, I decided not to focus on um, visual aids. So basically the whole uh, scenario in this case will be only text based. Now it's time to start drag and dropping our items. As you see here, it's written to create content, drag the icons from the left menu to the drop zone below. So the first what we're gonna add is gonna be the text and here I'll write an instruction and the instruction is going to be this. Then it's done. Next I'll add again one more text and this will be introduction. And in the introduction the text is gonna be what they should do. Done. So next we're adding our branching question. I'll add it here in this plus sign. Uh, the title, I'll put it, you can leave it as it is, but uh, I'll put it as a decision one. The question will be first question. Then we will add response. So for your information, I'm just copying and pasting from my document because I already have scenario written down. Next, we'll go done. So now you have answer one and answer two. Because uh, there is feedback, after every response, I'll add text here. And the next one is gonna be text two and done. Next question. So as you can see, I already added my uh, second question here. But the thing is, branching scenario doesn't allow to connect this one directly to here. For that, you'll need to create another branching scenario. But what we can do instead is that I double click it, go to advanced branching options. Then we choose uh, 
jump to another branch and we go to the next question which is uh, how will you assess a learner's understanding of the course then we'll put the feedback title i put it as let's go feedback text can be empty and just done after each response uh, we have feedback so i'll make this with the same logic and again next i'm making branching question and this will be my third question and done and then again we go here double click it advanced branching options jump to another one we choose the question i'll just write let's go and done okay again we're gonna put our next feedback and again branching question And because this response leads to the next question, I'll double click, go to advanced branching options, jump to another branch and choose my last question. Feedback title. Okay, good job. Let's go further. Done and moving so now i'm going to add again feedback and then the last question and then we will finalize this work okay so i added the last part now we'll go to settings and uh, here you will see the configure starting screen and the end screen so what i've done here is that i put the title uh, of the starting screen as a designing our online course design let's just put it like online course design draft one and here the scenario description and in the uh, end scenario screen this is how we are going to end and this is the text that the learners will see so once this is done we go back here then we'll go to advanced branching options and then in the special action after this content we check and we'll put the custom and scenario done and the same we'll check here custom and scenario and done we'll save to proceed for that please make sure that you already put the title for your activity otherwise you won't be able to save the activity so we put the title then we'll proceed to save and then we'll save this so now it's time to see how it looks like because i didn't add any visual aids it will be a little bit of text heavy but this serves as an example for you what we see now is the starting screen this is how the learners will start the scenario they have a description here and then they start the course and this is the task that they've received an email from the colleague and we'll go next and here's the question and this is our end scenario scene once they're done they will see this so this was one example of using branching scenario in the next one i'll show another option so stay tuned and uh, i hope that this video was uh, useful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel until next video